Okay guys, so today I thought I'd take you all on a little tour of my office a little more in detail. Usually you guys just get the shot behind me. Um, I do usually shoot from the window because the lighting's really good. So this is just going to be like a kind of in detail walkthrough for you guys if anybody's interested. <laughs> I mean, I like seeing what people have in their collection. Um, so I guess we'll start on this back wall, which is actually a closet. It's the biggest um, closet in my house because I have a little bit of an older house. So um, unfortunately, that is where I have all my clothes, most of Ben's clothes. Um, this is a giant fat head that I made of Tito, and he actually came out and signed it in one game when I went with my mom. Um, I cut a hole in there, and that's a pink balloon because, you know, he's always chewing bubble gum. So I could actually blow up the balloon, <laughs> and I think he really enjoyed that. So it looked like he was chewing gum. Um, just for size reference, that's my hand next to it. So it is quite large. Um, I also have a Gomer one that I made because he was my favorite player. Still is, even though he's with another team now. Um, I took this to the game where my mom and I watched batting practice, and I held it up, and he came over and said, wow, it's kind of strange to see my face that big. And uh, I said, will you sign it? And he's like, my face? I said, you can sign whatever you want. <laughs> I was just kind of at a loss for words for him. Um, these are a couple boxes of stuff my mom just gave me. I've been going through it. I do have some really cool old, like, full-page newspaper promos um, that I'll go through with this. I showed you all in the last video. It's kind of a seating chart I printed and put pins in everywhere that I've sat. I don't know if you're able to see it or not. Here's a photo of Ben and I from our first game that we went to together. He has some friends in Philly that he visits every year, so he brought me back a couple souvenirs from Philly so I just kind of keep them next to that. This is actually an iPad case my mom had or like for a Kindle or something. Um, she has Kipnis, Tito, Lindor, a couple people have signed it. She's kind of just uh, over the baseball thing I guess I'm not really sure but she got rid of a lot of her stuff I'm kind of just holding on to it for her. Here's a couple um, that's an old bobblehead of Wahoo that's like an old bank Unfortunately, I dropped it and the bat broke off, so I have to fix it. This is a rosy red bobblehead I got from when I went to watch the Reds this year. There's an old Snyder photo that Ben got for me one year for Christmas that's signed. Um, a couple old souvenir cards. My uncle, he does collect some older sports memorabilia. He gave me this, which is also really neat. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Super, super old. Not the most politically correct thing. Um, there is also a local antique shop where I did get a couple of those things too. It's going to be kind of hard to see with the lighting, but this is just a ticket from the first game that I ever went to. Yes, it's from 2012. Um, I really encourage you guys, anybody that's like becoming a fan recently, try not to be so hard on them. <laughs> we need people at the games. Um, I've always been a Tribe fan, but unfortunately was not able to go to a game, my parents didn't take us to games when we were little. They did take us to a Reds game, but um, they always went, and uh, I didn't really didn't get to experience it until 2012. Um, just to give you an idea of how cheap tickets were then, this was a $40 ticket, and it's in section 167. Let's go down here for reference. 167 is right here. So that's a pretty good seat for 40 bucks. It's amazing how much it's gone up the last couple years. This is a piece of Young Gums bat. They do sell things like this at the stadium, which is where I got it. Ben purchased it for me. When we watched the tribe play the uh, Reds. This is my little pass to get on the field there when we went to watch batting practice. That's just a light switch somebody picked up for me. This is actually a really old Indians photo album. And I'm going to take that off the wall to show you guys because it is pretty epic. A lot of my stuff I have just hanging up with push pins because it's a little easier. I'll go ahead and bring this over here to my desk. Show you all what's in here. Again, my uncle picked this up for me. They live right down the street. He kind of helps take care of my grandma and I go down there and help them out because he's a little bit older and has a lot of uh, pains in his back. These are autographed too, so this is pretty Uh, pretty useful. There's also little information back here about each uh, player. This is pretty old, gotta say. Really, really interesting. Unfortunately, I do have it in a frame. I'm not really sure how to display a lot of this stuff that I get. 
when it comes to booklets. I mean, this is something just unbelievable, and I kind of have it in the plastic holder for now. But that's, you know, pretty interesting. There's some information about the team that year. Ben and I love this kind of old stuff because we get to go through and see <laughs> the cost of things back in the day. Um, this is actually cut out of metal. Ben bought this for me for my birthday last year. I think he got it on Etsy, but it's kind of a really cool piece. Um, something different. I got a neck pillow here, a couple foam fingers. I have two bags I take to the games. One is packed with all things for summer. One is for the early spring games that are colder. Here's all of my stuff from the World Series. That's my rally towel that they gave out during the World Series. Uh, we bought a World Series patch. We bought these little holders here that also have a pin. World Series, I was there. There's my ticket. I was fortunate, I only had to pay $180 when my buddies came up from Cincinnati and had to sit a few sections over to pay about $600 for his ticket. Here's my little pin collection. A lot of them are newer, but there are some older gems in there. Here's a commemorative ballpark thing. Again, my mom collected a lot of these and she just gave it to me, which I greatly appreciate. Here's a little holder thing that I got at Hobby Lobby, but I use it to hold a lot of these programs. That one's from 96. Um, there's some newer ones in there. My mom took this to Tribe Fest. It's a program that she bought from the 2017 postseason. I got a lot of old 97. Um, the really old ones I have framed, but the ones from the 90s and beyond I have sitting there. Here is a pendant I took to Tribe Fest one year. Got some signatures on it. This is the main item I take to Tribe Fest every year and to a couple other events if I think I'm going to be at a game early enough to get some signatures. It's my big flag. I do have quite the collection on it now. If I have rookie cards, I try to take those instead. They're a little easier to transport, but um, I do plan on taking this every year and trying to fill it up. Here is the majority of my favorite cards here. A lot of them are autographed or just older cards. There's my Gomes one. That is a rookie card that I got signed. Um, this year I was able to get that Kenny Lofton signed. I do have Kluber's autograph on that one. Um, I have Trevor Bauer's rookie card right here that I'm going to try to get signed. I'm going to try to take a lot of these this spring training. And hopefully have some luck with that old Lindor. <laughs> old. I mean, he's probably like 18 in that photo because he's, what, 23, 24 now? This is just a little trash can that we put some Indians tattoos on. If you buy anything that you want to customize, those little tattoos that you can buy at party shops and stuff are actually really good for that. I got a bunch of pens and stuff in there. I got this cute little pair of scissors my mom found for me during back to school time. Here's an opening day ball. This one was actually thrown to me by Dan Otero when we went to the Reds game this year. So that was kind of cool during batting practice. I just stick on my push pins and some ribbon in there. I have this little shelf here that holds my hat. A couple bats there. I'm actually going to hang them on either side of the shelves here. I just need to get some hangers for those. Um, here's my baseballism cases right now. I just have baseball cards in there. A couple decks of cards. This one's actually really interesting. I think it's from 90, yeah, 94. So it's really neat. I'll pull some of these out to show you guys. It's just an old deck of playing cards, but the logos looks really neat. <laughs> Good stuff. Ain't no lie. Here is a coffee mug I got from League Park. If you guys are going to a game, definitely check out League Park. It was where they had the stadium originally. Um, there's a little museum in there. They have everything in there. It's not just from the Indians, but you know, they have different leagues in there. They do have some uh, female baseball league things. This is just a cool Indians pen I bought one year. This is our trophy that we kind of pass back and forth <laughs> from our um, MLB The Show competition that we have going. This is a really neat old old Larry Doby card that my uh, uncle got me. I mean, it's extremely old. I don't even want to get out of the frame. <sighs> Let's see what else. Here's an old newspaper article that I got at that shop I was talking about. Good old Bob Feller there. Sorry, I'm short. I can't really get a good glimpse of it. I also bought one for um, Ben. It had a little bit more Reds content. There's another old issue of sports review baseball issue 25 cents in 1950 could you imagine this should be like 13 dollars nowadays all right here's another uh thing of pans these are more like buttons again a lot of them are um newer there are a couple older ones here 
Got tribe fever. Sure do. I have these little autograph photos here. I was waiting in line this year during a uh, season ticket holder event and I was talking about how I was upset. They actually had to rearrange some things. They were gonna have something similar set up to Tribe Fest where you could get autographs from players and it was at the stadium after a game, but that was the day that we clinched the uh, AL East. So we kind of had to, uh, or I'm sorry, the AL Central. What am I thinking? Anyways, <laughs> it's the day that we clinched, so they had to move some things around and we didn't get to um, get those autographs. And I had mentioned to the guy in front of me, yeah, I was bummed because they didn't have Andrew Miller's autograph and he's like, oh, here you go. They do have a thing at the stadium if you donate 20 bucks to the food bank, they give you a mystery autograph card. This is something I bought at a craft show. I just thought it was neat. It's actually gonna go out of my backpack when it gets a little warmer. And I'm gonna redo my cushions out there, all baseball theme. Here's my overnight bag that I take when I go places. Again, it's Indians themed. Um, here's like an old, it's not old, but it's a little Wahoo necklace my mom gave me. A couple more pendants up there. That one's probably my favorite because it's really neat. I do have some older ones I'll show you. Um, this is one of my favorite things. It's actually a stained glass Wahoo I got for Christmas. I'm sorry, for my birthday last year for my parents and my sister. My sister um, is really into art and she knows a couple local artists and this guy makes handmade stained glass items. So uh, yeah, they commissioned him to make me a Wahoo and it is awesome. Here's just a couple postcards I got at a couple shops up in Cleveland from Old Jacobs Field. Um, I just really liked this logo when they had it on a t-shirt but um, I have a million <laughs> Indians t-shirts as it is so I figured why not. Here's another tribe towel I think my grandma gave to me. A couple more Rally Together towels I've collected over the years. Um, they gave these out at Dick's Sporting Goods in 2016. My mom and I went for some reason, I'm not sure, but they were handing those out. This is like an old wind-up mustard toy that my uncle gave me. And of course we have the hot dogs. I just thought they were cute. I try to buy a couple little things every year from the shop. Um, ketchup's my favorite. Here are a bunch of cups from the stadium. I didn't realize that recently the newer ones are a little bit taller. And there's Marla, wreaking havoc as usual. This is a Wahoo sticker Ben got me. We weren't really sure what to do with it. It's not stuck on there, it's just taped because, you know, I thought if I put it on my laptop and my laptop breaks, hey, I'm without it. So here's a couple more old programs I got and a couple issues of uh, Sport Magazine. Uh, let's see, this one is from 1954, 1958. 1966 yearbook. So again, the stuff, the, the advertisements and things in there are really neat. My uncle gave me this foam finger recently. There is the pennant Ben got me for Christmas. There's another Wahoo uh, foam finger, if you want to call it. Obviously, it's not a finger; it's a Wahoo, but um, pretty neat. This is from the first time I went to Tribe Fest. Um, when I first moved in this house, it was at the end of 2016, and Tribe Fest 2017 was my first one. So um, I knew I wanted this to make my little, wanted this room to be my office. So I tried to fill it up with as much as I could. My uncle found this framed jersey at a, it's not worth anything, the jersey not, but um, he found it and I just kind of turned it into this. This is me with the trophy, which was <laughs> amazing to even touch and be near. Here is my Carlos Bayerga uh, action figure. Ben bought me a couple years ago and I do have an autograph now. This my uncle just gave me, and you guys are going to crap when you see this. It's got a bunch of signatures on it. It's just an average hat, we think, um, until you turn it on the side. This World Series patch. I mean, honestly, the inside. On-field cap. I mean, he really got the steal on this. And again, my uncle just gave it to me. <laughs> I love that guy. Not because he gives me things, but as a kid, you know, he took my sister and I to the movies a lot. He, he, uh, he's just a good all-around guy. Little Larry Doby statue. This, again, here was for my uncle. Bob Feller Strikeout History. Kind of a neat old book. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Oh, what's that? A Bob Feller autograph? My uncle's so funny. He deals in so much sports memorabilia that he honestly thought he threw this out just because he didn't have much room for it. I mean, that's something else. Copyright 1947. So yeah, I cherish that book. That's why it's on display. People don't really know what it is. This is something cool I got from the Cleveland shop last year. It's kind of a uh, 
I don't know what you would call it. It's almost like a scrapbook type page that they made. Obviously, it's a print. I do have another one I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for. It's about their 22 game win streak, and it's got all the newspaper clippings on there. Obviously, like I said, it's a print. It's not the actual clippings. This right here is an older uh, media guide. It's pretty neat. Ticket sales, things of that nature. Just something neat and different to have. Again, my uncle gave me that. Anytime he comes across anything tribe related, here's the schedule for the year. It's from 93. I like the front because it's like a big collage. I guess that's what you would say is almost 22 game win streak. Down here, the yawn train continues. My mom just bought this 8x10 photo of yawn for me at the game one time. I purchased for myself last year for my birthday a game issued Yon Gomes hat. Um, it was from the 9 11 game, so it's got this really neat patch on the side. It's hard to see, but it's actually really like thick. Um, the inside it's fitted and it has his number, number seven in there. Seven and a quarter. He's got kind of a tiny head. A little stain in there. I'm not sure what that is, but official on field cap, just like that World Series one. Um, I think I got it for 50 bucks. Check those. Um, those MLB auctions guys because they have a lot of good deals. Here's another old scorecard. I don't know how old that one is. It's got to be of some value because we put it in a frame. I can't remember. This is a neat little light my parents got me. Wow it's really dusty in here. I don't have it plugged in but it does turn on. It's a gold neon light. Here's just a little photo frame I had. This is the first game I took my girls to. One of them couldn't be there but that's okay because this year they were able to go. Here's us at a bar afterwards having a good time. Here is a small collection of bobbleheads. I don't have that many. I'm trying to uh, increase the amount of bobbleheads that I do have. Haven't placed a photo in here yet. I guess I'm waiting for the right one, but it's got some authenticated dirt in there. I actually got this on clearance at the stadium. I might throw a baseball card in there. Not really sure. There's that sliding Kipnis one. A photo of my mom and I at the game on this kind of neat thing. Just a couple koozies I have and Marla's tail. Just another cap I got. Um, what else here? There's a little Wahoo baseball. That my, there's Marla's ears. That my uncle gave me. I actually have a picture of her with her little paw on it and it's one of my favorite photos. And clearly she still likes to hang out in there. Here is a Santana print that a fan gave me in line at Tribe Fest because he was not going to be in one of the groups that Santana was, um, signing for i'm sorry guys i'm really tired <laughs> it's sunday it's been kind of a lazy day but yeah i was fortunate enough it's 11 by 14 i haven't got a frame for it yet this is just like a little nifty craft i made i cut out the cleveland skyline with i have one of those um i don't know what they're called i have a cameo but it's similar to a cricket i just put some of my little parking passes behind it excuse me ma'am um here i have a book wow that's a lot of cat hair here's a book i have just a photo album. Again, I cut that thing out with that Cricut. It's kind of got a lot of game photos there, Tribe Fest photos. All this stuff is on Facebook, but you know, so people want to see it in person when they come. Another frame here are some newspapers I bought. These aren't old. These are just from games I've been to. Um, I used to live in Cleveland, so I had a way better um, chance of getting these we had to stop the next day at a Walgreens to pick this up because we were at this come from behind game and of course the man himself got the winning hit I was like we gotta get a newspaper tomorrow mom that was the greatest game I've ever seen in person here's some uh world series and playoff newspapers I collected when I lived there um not again not really sure how to display those if you guys have ideas please let me know because I'm always it's hard because they don't have a lot of space in this room. Um, eventually, we probably will move away and hopefully get something bigger. Um, but for now, this is kind of where all my stuff is. That's what I'm working with. Put some of this stuff back. Okay, let's see. Up here, I have my tickets from the game. Sorry, I heard something, but I guess it was the cats. <coughs> all the games that I've gone to. All the sections I've sat in. This is really hard to see. I'll see if I can adjust the brightness on this later. Um, yeah, I just kind of like to save them. I've lost a couple uh, before I got them hung up. This uh, is a photo that Ben's parents got me for Christmas of Max Elvis from a newspaper. It kind of fits perfectly on the side of the shelf. This is just a bottle of Cleveland bourbon that I bought for Ben. I just like that the bottle says Cleveland. Probably do something crafty with it.
Here's another cool postcard. I think I got this, I don't think from the Cleveland shop. It might have been, but um, if you guys are at a game early, I encourage you to walk around and buy from those local businesses. They have a lot of cool stuff. Here's that frame I showed in the last video that I made for the girls. Really quick and easy. There's the other frame I got from Hobby Lobby. Me and Ben, my buddy John, and that's Ben's friend Nick, also now my friend. <laughs> Here is an old plaque. That feels weird saying it's old from, you know, 1995, but here's the plaque of the team with the uh, best record in baseball in the whole roster, but it's kind of neat. This is kind of just a big ticket thing that I had bought. I think I got that at the Cleveland shop. Just kind of a neat piece of artwork. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, here's another one of those plaques. This one's from 97. Central Division Champs. Not the East, like I said earlier, because, hey... I'm a little sleepy. And then there's another old newspaper article that I got. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? I don't think I mentioned these two old MLB rings I have here. But that's kind of just the gist of my office. Oh wow, I did miss this. <laughs> so I have a lot of pennants. My uncle frequently gives me these. Um, I used to have them all around the office, but as my collection's grown, I kind of had to uh, expand. So I put them around the top of my light. It's kind of a hit. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, guys, uh, that's the little tour of where I'm working here. So when I shoot, my camera's actually in the window facing me, facing those closet doors, which is why you always get that view. Um, it's a tiny room, like I said. You can see how much wall space I have left. Not much. I do have the door I can use. I have those two upper doors that I can use. I actually might use some newspaper stuff for that. The back of this has a mirror, so, and it's not like, it's hard to get off, it's screwed on, I've tried. And I'd hate to put something behind the door because you won't even be able to see it. Um, but if anybody has any suggestions on how to display some of the stuff I don't have displayed, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, hey, I um, hope you guys watched this and enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to see some of the stuff in your collections. I do see a lot of stuff in those Indians fan groups, so, when I post this in there, please comment and show me what you got because it's fun to be envious sometimes. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.